Okay, so track to palpate the popliteal pulse. Um, the patient's knee or your knee should be somewhat flexed with a leg relaxed. Okay. And let me place my fingertips on both hands so that they will meet in the midline. Is it tickling you? Sorry. Okay. Just meet in the midline behind the knee and press them deeply into the popliteal fossa. Let's try that. So our patient has a very big leg. So, and your popliteal um, vein is, or your popliteal pulse is so deep. So I also have to press this deeply down to the popliteal fossa and try to feel the pulse. is more difficult to find than other pulses. Then let's compare. Okay, there. You can find it. Let's compare the pulse on the other side. The classic one. Yeah, it's tickling our patient. Sorry. Good, good. I can do it now. But if ever, um, still, even how hard you press it and you cannot palpate the pulse, then we can try to um, request the patient to be on a prone position and then again flex his knee to about 90 degrees. Can we try that, Chuck? Just to make sure, on prone position. Okay. Now let's uh, palpate the dorsalis pedis and um, to, to, palpate, to palpate the dorsum of the foot, not the ankle, just lateral to the extensor tendon of the right toe. And the dorsalis pedis artery may be congenitally absent or branch higher in the ankle. But if you cannot feel a pulse, explore the dorsum of the foot more laterally. Okay, so let's see, try to palpate. It should be right here. Okay, let's try.